Hello my lovely Cancer gang, welcome to your video. So this video is all to do with the Saints and Angels Oracle reading. Um, this is a timeless reading so you can go back and see what it, whenever this can resonate with you. Um, just a disclaimer for all you cross watchers, you're more than welcome to take whatever you can resonate with in this video. Um, what I have done is I premeditated and pre-shuffled your cards ready for this video so it saves me a bit of time. Um, I, quite a few cards have actually come out for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off now doing your readings. So the first card that come out for you then is the Guardian Angels with Heaven is Watching Over You. I do apologise if you can't see the cards properly. So this is look. Rest assured that God and your guardian angels are watching over you and your loved ones. You're very loved and you're not alone in this situation or ever. Um you and those dear to you have powerful helpers surrounding you at all times. This is a message for you to release any worries to heaven. This is simply nothing for you to fear. Besides, worry never helps anyone improve anything. A better approach is to pray and ask for help, and then allow heaven to help you. You deserve divine help, support and protection. Next card then is Confidence with St. Michael the Archangel. Okay. Archangel Michael is with you, shoring up your confidence so that you can fiercely face and even enjoy the tasks before you. This Archangel is protecting you against any negativity helping you to remain optimistic and filled with faith and ensuring that only people and situations of high integrity comes to you. Have confidence in God's power to keep you safe and secure as you enter into a new phase of your life. It's natural to feel intimidated by change. You may worry whether you're prepared and qualified for what's ahead of you. Next card is Saint Dympha, then with emotions. Okay. The answer to your question involves emotions, either yours or those of the person you're inquiring about. This is also a message for you to pay closer attention to your emotions. It's safe for you to admit your true feelings to yourself. Saint Saint Dympha can help you find solutions to any emotional upsets. She's a loving saint who specialises in helping you achieve emotional and mental health. The lantern that she carries help you better see where you're going and assist you in avoiding obstacles on your path. Next card then we have is Blessings of Abundance with your Guardian Angel. Okay. Your prayers have been heard and answered. Your daily bread and other needs are being provided for now and in the future. Give your fears and worries to God and the angels and have faith that they're taking care of you and your loved ones. Let go of any worrying that how your needs will be met because God's infinite creative wisdom will take care of the details. Be open to receiving gifts and help from people, as this is one way which the divine answers your prayers. Next card then is Faith with the Guardian Angels. Think of all the miracles you've experienced in the life so far. This card asks you to have faith that heaven will continue to help and support you along the way. Your faith is a key factor right now and it's important that you keep it strong. 
Like the angel in this card's painting, you're about to take a leap of faith. The message is that it's safe for you to make this leap. You finally follow in your heart's wisdom and it will pay you unseen dividends. Next card then is Saint Catherine of Exa El no, Alexandria. Was it Saint Catherine of Alexandria? And it's the card of marriage. Okay. This is a message about your present or future marriage. You have a spiritual destiny with a spouse who's your soulmate. There's a heavenly purpose for you and this person to be together. And you are supposed to help one another grow and prosper. You recognise your soulmate by having the feeling that you've known each other forever. Synchronistic events brings you together and there's a sense of destiny and fate in your relationship. This card means that a soulmate material partner is currently in your life or will soon be. If you want to manifest such a marriage, ask St. Catherine to help you attract and discern an appropriate partner. Next is the Guardian Angel with Sweetness. Sweetness. Your Guardian Angel is asking you to notice the enjoy of the nectar of life. You are sweet. You are a guardian angel says of you. And I can help you feel the happiness and joy. If you felt toughened by life experiences, your angel can help you lower your defences and you still be safe, protected and respected. This is also a message for you to treat yourself with tender sweetness. Give yourself rewards and be kind to yourself. Are you pushing too hard with an all work and no play approach to life? Be a sweetheart to yourself and take some leisure time to play and enjoy the fruits of your labour. Next card is Saint Cecilia with play music. This is a message for you to play some more music because it will help you find the answers and solutions that you are seeking. This may involve playing an instrument, perhaps by picking up one that you studied in the past. It could also mean taking lessons for a new type of musical instrument, or it could be simply a message for you to spend more time playing your current one. Next card is the Holy Spirit with Peaceful. The Holy Spirit has descended upon you and the situation that you're inquiring about. Get in touch with the divine energy by focusing upon the peace that's deep within your heart. The serenity is like the gemstone of the core of a boulder and you may have to dig deep within yourself to find it. This may require that you spend some quiet time alone in stillness. Rest assured that the Holy Spirit's peace is pervading the situation and opening the hearts of everyone that's involved. Guardian Angel with Higher Education Your angel is guiding you to gain further education, either by attending school or through independent study. Higher education referred to an instruction with a spiritual basis. So this is a message for you to study topics with capture your true interests. For instance, if there's a spiritually based service career that you yearn for, now is the time to begin looking at furthering your knowledge in that area. This may mean attending a formal class, reading books on the topic, or working with a mentor. Then you have the card of Guardian Angel with Commitment.
Although you may have experienced difficulties or fear, this card is a message from your guardian angel to stay committed. Honour your promises to your loved ones and keep your word to yourself and other. If you're feeling conflicted about having enough time for your responsibilities, then call upon the angels to help. You appear to be worried about a decision that you are grappling with. This card reminds you to follow through to your dreams, your goals and your intentions and stay committed to your priorities and give them the daily attention they deserve. Your last card then is Guardian Angel with Practice Makes Perfect. Hey. Practice, practice, practice. That's the message that your Guardian Angel has for you. The way for you to achieve what you're asking about is to practice your craft regularly. Your guardian angel will help you carve out the time in your schedule to allow for regular work. This is a positive message for you to spend more time doing what you love. Practicing a new skill helps you become more proficient and confident which positively affects other areas of your life too. Okay then, so that's your reading. I hope you can all resonate to some extent. Please like, subscribe, share and hit the notification bell if you enjoy my videos. I hope you're all staying safe and staying positive. Love and light from myself to you and I see you all again soon. Bye.